For more than 75 years, the March of Dimes has been leading the fight for the health of all moms and babies by empowering families with the tools, programs, and knowledge to have healthier pregnancies. The pregnancy was the scary part. We started out very excited because we found out we were having twins. And with identical twins, there's the risk of twin to twin transfusion syndrome, which at week 15, we were diagnosed with. It was a lot. The biggest thing I wanted to be was just a constant support. Um, I understood that her emotions, um, as well as mine, were essentially a roller coaster. They'd go up and down. After a few weeks of careful monitoring by several physicians, Matt and Jackie decided to move forward with an ablation surgery to correct the blood sharing imbalance and for a better chance of having two healthy babies. Micah, who was the, the donor baby, was so small and he wasn't getting any nutrients. With that, Jace was receiving too many nutrients, too much in utero. He was surrounded by too much fluid. It was a really scary time because um, we didn't know if they were going to survive, either of them. Following the surgery, Micah and Jace's growth and development began to improve. But leading up to birth, Jace was diagnosed with jejunal atresia, which requires surgery immediately following delivery. At 36 weeks, the twins were delivered via cesarean section. They went straight to the NICU uh, as soon as they were born. Uh, I now have a son in the NICU. I have one son that I'm meeting all the doctors and the anesthesiologists to get prepped for surgery. Um, and I still have a wife in recovery. Baby Micah was admitted to the NICU for five days. However, after undergoing jejunal atresia surgery, Jace needed to remain in the NICU and be monitored by the medical staff. It was sad because we had to leave a baby in the NICU. You know, your heart's so full with a baby home, but also you're missing a piece of your, your heart still because they're in the NICU for, for longer. After spending 19 days in the NICU, Jace was ready to go home and join his family. Reuniting them together was incredible. It was beautiful and I just felt like, okay, this is our family. It's just such a special bond. And as they've grown up, they've continued to keep that bond. Marsha Dimes played a huge role every year. We, we support the mission. We do the walk just to, to show that there are so many families that are affected by you know, babies that are premature. The March of Dimes has really been an incredible community. We get to be surrounded by other beautiful families that receive care from an incredible organization and, and hear the, the stories that are impacted by the funding and help from March of Dimes.